Mr. Whitaker, thank you for being with us. Our country is still reeling from the horrors of family separation that occurred at the border. I was the first member of Congress to talk to hundreds of women and men who had been ripped apart from their children. I went into a federal detention, uh, federal prison to talk to those women. Many of them had not even been able to say goodbye to their children. They sat in the room next door as they heard their children yelling for them, and they were not able to go and speak to their children. And for weeks, they didn't know where their children were. I, most of these women, most of the men, were seeking asylum. And your department, instead of allowing them their legal right to seek asylum, your department instead imposed a zero humanity policy to prosecute them in mass proceedings, resulting in the US government tearing thousands of children from their moms and dads, and this is still happening. And the truth is we may not know how many children were separated from their parents. So Mr. Whitaker, you were Attorney General Chief, uh, former Attorney General Jeff Sessions Chief of Staff at the time, is that correct? Of the zero tolerance policy being implemented? You were his Chief of Staff. At, the well, time. at what point in time? I, I was at, at the family separation policy. Let me just there tell was, you, you I'm were. Sorry, there was no family separation policy. You, there was you a were, zero tolerance policy. This has department. been given four Pinocchios multiple times. I'm just going to tell you, you were former Attorney General's Chief of Staff at the time. Last month, Senator Merkley released a leaked draft memo by senior officials at the Department of Justice and Homeland Security outlining policies to separate children from their families. Were you aware of this memo at the time? No. So as the chief of staff, you were not aware of what your boss was doing? Was the memo, I'm sorry, was, are, are you talking about the leaked memo or the memo that General Sessions issued? There was a leaked zero. draft memo by senior officials at the Department of Justice. You were the chief of staff. I would think you would know, and you would be a senior official, you would know about that memo. The memo stated that a policy of criminally prosecuting parents would require close coordination between DHS and the Department of Health and Human Services, which would be tasked with housing children separated from their moms and dads. And yet a report released by the Government Accountability Office last October says that DHS and HHS were, quote, unaware that your boss, former boss's zero tolerance prosecution policy memo was coming. Is it correct that the Department of Justice provided no advance notice to those departments? Congresswoman, the, the department's it's policy... Just a, it's just on. a yes or no. Did, did you provide advance notice to those we departments? We conducted a press conference in San Diego with the head of the Immigration Customs Enforcement when we announced the zero tolerance policy. And all the zero tolerance policy does is says that we will take all referrals from DHS. I, I'm just going to stop you right there because it is my time. According to the GAO report, the GAO, the Government Accountability Office, report on family separation, DHS and HHS officials told us the agencies did not take specific planning steps because they did not have advance notice of the Attorney General's April 2018 memo. It went on to say specifically CBP, ICE, and ORR officials stated that they became aware of the April 2018 memo when it was announced publicly. So before or after the zero, and actually, let me go back. Are you saying that CBP, ICE, and ORR lied to the GAO and that they were somehow aware and given advance notice? No, I'm not going to suggest that anybody was not telling the truth. I'm saying that when we publicly announced the zero tolerance policy, it was pursuant to a public event in San Diego. And so prior to the public event, Mr. Whitaker, prior to the public event, these ICE, CBP, and ORR officials told the GAO that they had not gotten any notice. I'm not talking about once it was public. I'm talking about whether there was advance notice. Let me go on. Before or after the zero tolerance policy was put into place, and I call it the zero humanity policy, did the U.S. attorneys track when they were prosecuting a parent or legal guardian who had been separated from their child? There's only one answer to this. It's gone through the courts. You know, did we track it? Did you track when you were prosecuting a parent or legal guardian who had been separated from a child? Um, I don't believe we were tracking that. You were not tracking it. That is the correct answer. And when parents are prosecuted and sentenced, they are in DOJ custody, correct? 
Correct. They are tra- their, their custody is transferred to the U.S. Marshal. So these parents were in your custody. Your attorneys are prosecuting them, and your department was not tracking parents who were separated from their children. Do you know what kind of damage has been done to children and families across this country, children who will never get to see their parents again? Do you understand the magnitude of that? I, I understand that the policy of zero tolerance. Has the Justice Department started tracking parents and legal guardians who were separated from their children at the border? The, the time of the gentlelady has expired. The, the witness may answer the question. Congresswoman, I, I appreciate your passion for this issue, and I know that you've been very involved on the front lines of this. This issue. is about more than my passion. This let, is about me... the children's future, Mr. Whitaker. Please answer. Go ahead, please. The witness may answer. Congresswoman, the responsibility for the arrest, the detention, and together with the custody of the children was handled by DHS and HHS before those people were ever transferred to DOJ custody through the U.S. Marshals.